Hey guys, it's Lee here. Well, today I'm going to do something a little bit different. And as you can see, I have no makeup on. And this will actually be my first uh, first impression video, kind of review on the Giorgio Armani Mastero, Mast Mastro foundation that I've just purchased at Sephora uh, this past weekend in Las Vegas. This foundation, everyone says that um, it's a brand new type of technology and with this technology, it has timed releasing oil in it and when I heard oil, I was like, Ugh. I'm kind of a combination oily skin and I would think that having more oil in the foundation would make me super oily but we'll definitely see how this works. They, they don't call it foundation, they say it's more of a complexion perfecter so it's supposed to look really natural, really light and this is water free and paraben free. This bottle actually it has a dropper in it and you can squeeze out you know however much you need and according to the direction here, I'm gonna put it on with my fingers and see how that works. They say squeeze about three drops, two, three, three or four drops, let's just do four. And on my skin it's already moisturized, I didn't put any primer or anything because I want to see how, how well this product works. So I will just They say it's buildable, so we'll see how well it builds. But when I first put this on, I feel like it's very light. It does feel like very velvety. It feels like there's a primer that's already built into this without even using a primer. So it goes on really smooth, but of course people say it's not like a medium coverage foundation. It doesn't cover everything, so you should have pretty smooth skin. But I feel like it's not enough, so let me try to add on another layer and see how well it builds. Since this makeup is really thin, I think you definitely have to use it with um, a concealer. So now I'm done with all my makeup. I actually think it seems a little light on my skin, but I don't know, maybe it'll settle in a little bit longer. It's only been 15 minutes or so, but I realized I do have a couple of dry patches on my skin and it does bring out my dry patches so definitely make sure your skin is exfoliated well and as of right now it is 10:29, and it looks like it's about to rain today here in Houston the temperature is 70 degrees so with the rain there will be humidity so I will test it out against this humidity 3.41 and uh, as for my makeup, I mean I did not get oily, I did not need to blot my nose or anything because I usually get really oily around here and I did not get oily so I can say it's true, you know, it stays pretty matte but the way it looks on my skin, I feel like it doesn't make it look more glowy or anything like that. Eight thirty, and I've been through a lot. It's pretty humid today. I've been rained on, sprinkled on, been out there. It's been wet. So I'm going to eat crawfish where it's hot and humid. I don't, I wouldn't keep anymore because I mean, you see, my T zone is slightly oily, which is typical of my combination skin, anyways. I did not do any touch up, no blotting paper, or anything. So the way it said that has like the five time releasing oily oils I do believe that it does keep my skin from being oily even though it has oil in it so I think that's the good thing about it and however I think the makeup doesn't last long because I didn't use primer which they recommended me not to use primer so I didn't but maybe with the primer it will last a little bit better but right now I'm starting to see a little bit of redness come up from my chin around my nose it's starting to crease a little bit slightly right there and I think with this makeup, you actually have to have really nice skin. If you have really nice, really smooth skin, I think this product will work really well. But because I do have blemishes and I do have pores and you know a couple lines and uneven skin tone, this product is not made for someone like me who don't have the perfect skin out there practically. And for $62, I think that's really expensive. You can find a similar product that gives you a natural finish at a drugstore for much less so I wouldn't recommend this. 
So out of a scale of 1 through 10, 10 being the best, something I would definitely repurchase, I'm factoring in um, the, the cost, the, the product itself, and the longevity and how well it's, you know, how much it's worth anyways, I would give it about a 4.5 on my scale. So that's not very high. It's something I would definitely go and return anyways because I'm not going to waste money on a product that I do not like. So that's pretty much my review. And if you have any questions about this product, feel free to write me in the box below and I'll definitely answer whatever I can about this product. And thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Here's one of my two fat cats. We actually have two cats here. This one is Chip. Right, baby? We have a black one too and a dog here. I'm actually at my parents' house, but... Mwah! You don't look happy, are you? You're not happy. Okay, fine. Here's the second one. I know, it's Pepper. He's a black cat, which people think are bad luck, but... He was homeless as a little kitten, so we took him in. Hey, Pepper, say hi. Okay, grumpy old man.